Hey, come sit over here. Kevin and I saved you a spot in between us. Yeah, partner, we're gonna sit next to each other the whole year. It's gonna be great. I couldn't sleep all night last night. I was so excited for school. What's up, guys? How's it going? Horrible. I hate school. I don't want to be here. I want to be at home playing Minecraft. He wasn't talking to you, Evan. I'm doing great, partner. I'm excited for a healthy, happy school year. I'm a bit nervous, to be honest. What if our teacher is mean? A mean teacher makes a stellar student, Billy. Remember that. I personally am hoping for a teacher who's gonna challenge me. Ugh, you are such a nerd, bro. I'm hoping that our teacher is super chill and they'll let Richard and I sleep in class whenever we want because we are so cool. <sighs> Richard doesn't even like you, Trevor. Yes, he does. And I saved this spot next to me for him. So don't even try to sit here, Billy. Where is Richard anyway? He's going to be late for his first day of school. Exactly, dude. And that's what makes him so cool. He's going to be fashionably late. Well, he better hope that our teacher is nice. lovely children of the future. I'm Mr. Williamson, and I'm so excited to be your teacher for this school year. Oh wow, he seems nice. Yeah, a little too nice. Look at all of these smiling faces. Who's excited for a magical school year? Oh, oh, me! Very nice. I can tell you're a star student, young man. I sure am. So, Richard! Richard, over here! I saved you a spot next to me! I'm not sitting next to you. Oh, man! Excuse me, are you aware that you're late for class on the first day? Yup. You're lucky I showed up at all. I don't really want to be here. That is not very academic of you. But what the heck! I'll allow it! Can you also allow me and Richard to sleep in class? Absolutely! Boys and girls, feel free to rest whenever you need to. Can I eat pizza in class? Of course you can! Yes! Students, you are the future of this world, not me. So please, feel free to do whatever you want, sit wherever you want, and say whatever you want in my classroom. You're a stupid idiot! <laughs> Evan, don't say that to the teacher. Why not? He said I could say whatever I wanted. I appreciate the feedback. And although that was very hurtful, I can tell that he's just trying to be the class clown because he doesn't have any friends. Whoa, that hurt my feelings. But he was nice about it, so I don't care. Now students, before I take attendance, I want to set some ground rules. Learning is not a requirement in this classroom, but having fun is. Cool. Oh man. There will be no homework. Nice. You hear that, Richard? I wasn't going to do homework anyway. And finally, you will all be dismissed for recess 20 minutes before all the other classes in this school. You know why? Because fitness and having fun is very important. I love this teacher. This is going to be the best school year ever. Okay, students, now let's have some fun. I'm going to take attendance and I'm going to sing everybody's name. When I sing your name, stand up and tell me an interesting fact about yourself. Oh, I have many interesting facts. If you want to have fun this year, feel free to sing along. I'm excited to meet you all with my attendance song. This is so weird. If your name is Ronald, stand up and dance with me. I'm excited to meet you, Ron. Tell me something neat. Tell me something neat. I don't think there's a Ronald in this class. Hmm, okay, he must be absent. If your name's Olivia, stand up and move around. I'm excited to meet you, make your favorite sound. Make your favorite sound. Uh, there's no girls in this class. Trust me, if there were, they'd already be my girlfriend. 
Yeah, it's just the seven of us, which is kind of weird. Hmm, that's odd. Is there a little Johnny in this classroom? Little Johnny is my cousin. He's in another classroom. He's a few years below me. Huh. Oh dear, I'm in the wrong classroom. I am so sorry, students. I'll go get your teacher right now. Oh man, I liked him. He was weird, but he was fun. Yeah, he seemed super nice. He made me cringe. I hated that guy. He said I was the class clown, and I wasn't even trying to be funny. Right, guys? Well, personally, I didn't like him because he didn't seem like he would challenge me enough. <gasps> oh no, it can't be. It's him. I thought he got fired for being too mean to his students last year. Hello, students. I will be your real teacher for this miserable school year. My name is Mr. Rollyworth. <laughs> Rollyworth is a dumb name, right guys? Evan, I don't know if you can tell, but now really is not the time to make your corny jokes. This school year will be horrible for all of you. There will be no recess. No recess? There will be no gym class. No gym class? And there certainly will not be any lunch. No lunch? You will all sit in your assigned seats for 10 hours every single day. I will be teaching you college level courses. If anyone has any objections to this, they shall leave now or face the consequences. Yes! Finally, someone who's gonna challenge us! Quiet, nerd! Do you think you're funny? No, sir. I'm just super excited to have a teacher who's finally gonna push us to be the best students we can be. What kind of a miserable excuse for a student are you? Get out of my classroom. What? But, but sir, I'm not kidding. I'm really excited to learn. You're trying to make a fool out of me, boy, but it's not going to work. Get out of here, now. Oh man, okay. Does anybody else want to act foolish in front of me? Good! Now, you will all be switching into your assigned seats. Everybody stand up! Why did you not stand? Because I didn't want to. What's your name? Richard, I like you, kid. You've got heart. You remind me of myself when I was your age. That's unfortunate. Everybody pay attention to Richard. He is now my favorite student. Everybody follow his lead. <laughs> oh, I get it. Why are you sitting? Because Richard's doing it, so I figured I would too. You said to follow his lead, bro. I am not your bro. I am your teacher. You will respect me. Now stand up. Okay, sorry. Why are you standing? Because you yelled at me for sitting. That is enough disrespect out of you, boy. Get out of my classroom now. <laughs> Great, you embarrassed me in front of Richard. <laughs> <sighs> wow, Trevor's a crybaby, right guys? Evan, shut up. Niagara Falls, more like Trevor falls because he has waterfalls coming out of his eyes. Do you guys get it? <laughs> That's not funny, Evan. Yeah, if you're gonna try being the class clown, at least make your jokes funny. Boys, why are you speaking to that turtle? Hey, I am not a turtle. I am a real boy, you pathetic excuse for a teacher. Ah, so the turtle talks. Why does everyone think I'm a turtle? Is it because I wear green? It's because you hang out with reptiles too much. You're starting to smell like one. Animal control, we have a talking turtle in our classroom. Deal with it. Get it out of here. Red alert, red alert, the talking turtle has returned. Everybody man your battle stations. No, I can't go back to the zoo. I've been trapped there way too many times before. Ah! Okay. Now that we got rid of the delinquents, I have a classroom of strong-willed individuals. Whew. We're safe. I expect you students to come in tomorrow with your heads completely shaved. 
Long hair distracts from college level arithmetic. I'm not cutting my hair. That is exactly what I wanted to hear from you, Richard. Me neither. Oh no, you specifically must cut your hair. But my mommy likes my curly hair. I can't shave it. Well then, your mommy can teach you because I will not have someone with crazy hair like that in my classroom. Get out of here. But I- No! Okay. <laughs> my hair is perfect the way it is. And then there were three. <sighs> I don't think you boys are prepared for the torture you are about to endure this school year. Yo, can you actually send me to the principal's office? I'm tired of looking at your face. Um, Mr. Rollyworth, Principal Skeeter wants to see you in his office. Me? Why? He said that you were banned from our school last year and that you were not supposed to be our teacher. You're not supposed to be anywhere near children because you're mean to them. But I love teaching and my students love me. Right, boys? Nope. You scare me. I hate you and I hate everything else. Principal Skeeter said that if you didn't leave, he was going to have to call the police again. Curses. Tell Principal Skeeter that I will have my revenge. So, what happened to our actual teacher? Apparently they found our real teacher tied up in a closet, but he should be good to teach tomorrow. The next day. Well, I don't know about you fellas, but I certainly am excited to meet our new teacher. Yeah, me too. Mr. Rollyworth scared me, and Mr. Williamson was a little weird. I had to spend the entire night at the zoo, and then they did x-rays and they figured out, guess what? I'm not a turtle. I'm a human. Just so you guys know, I did not cry yesterday. My dad packed me onions for lunch, and that's what made me tear up. But I wasn't crying. I'm hoping for an even balance between Mr. Williamson and Mr. Rollyworth. Someone who is kind, but is going to challenge us. Well, I'm just hoping for someone who isn't a psychopath. I don't care who it is. I'm not going to respect them either way. <clears throat> Hello, students. I shall be your teacher this year. My name is... Mr. Jollyworth. <sighs> That's just Mr. Rollyworth in a wig, isn't it? Yup. 